as you guys can see right here i am literally running nfs rivals on my android device through box 64 droid let's get started yo guys this is atrix here today i'll be taking a look at the new update of box 64 droid and i'll be trying to emulate some high-end pc games on my android device through this latest version now in my last video i showed you guys how you can actually set up box 64 in that video i told you guys that if it reached 300 likes i'll make a gameplay video testing some games on this emulator and if it reached 500 likes i'll be testing out gta 5 so if you want to watch that video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because box 64 droid is 100 percent capable of emulating real GTA 5 on our Android device. Now on the official GitHub page and if we go to system requirements there has been a change where Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processors I guess can also run Box64 Droid because previously in system requirements Adreno 7 series GPU were not supported but now they have removed that system requirement. I guess Adreno 7 series GPU are now supported. Also Android 12 plus is required if you want to run Box64 Droid, Android 10 or above if you have a rooted device. Let me tell you guys that now in the latest update of Box64 Droid, there are some bugs with Termux X11. For example, it may say not connected even though you have started Box64. For that, you will just have to wait for the fix. It will be provided by developers. Now let me tell you guys that how you can actually update Box64 Droid if you have already installed it. So let's open Termux. Afterwards, we just have to type start dash box then click on enter now there will be an option in the number 3 update box 86 and box 64 type 3 and click on enter your emulator will start updating to its latest changes fixes and optimizations but i do not recommend you guys to update it right now as i told you guys before it has some issues with termux x11 and hit that subscribe button so i'll let you guys know once the issues are fixed so let's just go ahead and tap on change wine version so to run windows games on your android devices you just have to change wine version to proton so you just have to type 4 after going to wine section then click on enter and it will change the wine version to 8.0-2 which is the latest proton build it is necessary if you want to play games like gta 5 after you update the wine version now what you'll need is input bridge now input bridge is basically on screen touch controls for the games which you want to play it will provide you with an uh, game layout for example touch controls you can also use an adapter like this this is usb 3.02 usb c adapter which can be used to connect keyboard mouse etc but for today's video we'll be going with input bridge so just set up input bridge afterwards just press one then click on enter we will type the resolution as 800 by 600 then click on enter and box 64 droid has been successfully started on my device i have the latest box 64 droid version but it doesn't give me any problems i tried it on my oneplus 11 but it was giving me black screen issue that's why i told you guys to not update box 64 for now and another thing which i forgot to tell you guys is the best settings for termux x11 let's go to preferences here uh, let me show you guys that display resolution mode is set to exact display resolution is 800 by 600 and uh, show additional keyboard option you'll have to disable this okay afterwards let's go back to termux x11 now let's enable on-screen controls for that as i mentioned before you'll have to first of all set up input bridge on your android device there are a lot of tutorials on youtube you can watch that afterwards just go ahead and tap on the start button here you just have to go to dxvk, click on it and it will start updating the version. Afterwards we have to select input bridge, click on it. Now it will execute an command where you will see an pop up at the right corner of your screen. This is the on screen touch controls corner. So if we click on that option, we will see game controls. So let me tell you guys that we will be emulating NFS 14 on our Android devices through box 64 droid. You just have to go ahead and tap on open. Afterwards, the game should successfully start. Now just go ahead and tap on this button. Afterwards, on-screen controls will start showing. Let me focus. Okay. At the top left corner, you will see the DXVK version. Below that is the FPS bar and below that you will see GPU. Now you can also configure this on-screen touch controls. But anyways, as you can see right here, NFS Rivals has successfully started on an Android device. This is a complete PC game. And once I clicked on enter, you already saw that the screen changed. Now here you can see the cutscene is being shown. And let me tell you guys that the audio output is also working. So you can play games with audio output and Box64 Droid can also be emulated on low-end devices. As you can probably see at the top left corner, the amount of GPU percentage being used is just 4% which is nothing guys. On my Android device, uh, I have Snapdragon 888 processor and unfortunately box 64 droid doesn't use the complete potential of our android devices and as you guys can see right here nfs rivals has successfully started i i can use this 
uh, touch controls to either play as a cop or as a racer. We'll go with racer, let's click on enter. And the GPU percentage is stuck at 20 to 30, which is pretty unfortunate. I'm sure that my device could run this game at 30 FPS, but it is what it is. I can't really complain. We are literally emulating a PC game on our Android device. You'll notice that the game doesn't really have any major graphical issues but the only reason why the game is lagging that's because we are getting about 6 to 7 FPS. The GPU and CPU I guess are not being fully utilized and hence uh, the game is running at such low FPS. So anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.